I'm Russell Logan 23, you're joining me for Across the Void, Chapter 12, Last of the Assassins. Now playing as Eos, half an hour earlier. As you fly your martial fighter out of the Atlas, the sight of the enemy armada greets you. Red lights glowing like eerie eyes in the darkness of space. All this for a single senator? You hear Ezeki gasp through the comms as he flies alongside you. There are so many of them. Then we better hurry and before they notice us. Nova just sent me a message saying the enemy had started to board the Atlas. How are we going to do this? Eh, start off with the offensive maneuver. Making the first move hasn't failed me yet. I'll follow your lead. You get the signal, then you and Zeke zoom in up and over the fleet in unison, firing your lasers in rapid succession. Bank left. Copy that. As you turn parallel to Zeke, you fly your ship down, rolling under your until you're beneath the enemy. Two large explosions erupt behind you as you and Zeke's shot hit their marks. You took out a pair of enemy ships. Yeehaw! We definitely caught them off guard. Hostile ships close in on your position and let loose a hail of laser fire. Find cover! You're in space, there's no cover. You try to dodge, but there are too many. A stray laser strikes the bottom of your ship. That'll leave a mark. Hostile ships swarm together, forming a hexagonal design as they flock towards you as one. Red light fl flares at the nose of each ship, and crimson energy begins to arc between them. I've never seen anything like that before. I don't think anyone has. The lightning surges from the enemy ships and strikes towards you. Bolts. Should shoot at the lightning, dodge the bolts. You weave between the bolts, narrowly avoiding the dangerous red lightning as it shoots it by your martial ship. A couple of assailant ships take damage while others stop to recharge their weapons. You take a moment to search your viewport for Zeke's ship. You okay, Zeke? There's no sound, just emptiness of space. Until this fighter reappears alongside you. A little shaken up, but I'm okay. Several enemy ships appear, emerging from the darkness as they disengage their cloaks. More are coming from us, Eos. Don't worry, Ziggy. We can still win this. The largest hostile ship contorts and a claw extends out, clamping on Ezekiel's fighter. Ah, it's pulling me in! What, they didn't have tractor beams? <laughs> I'm coming. You search for a way to release the metal claw, but it's starting to dig deeper in the sides of Zeke's martial fighter. The viewport! It won't hold much longer! As you circle the claw, you notice a damaged enemy ship floating below, the top completely ripped off. Inside the ship, you see controls for a seismic weapon system. Installing the seismic weapon system before Zeke's ship is about to be, you know, imploded, which will cause him to be sucked out to space if the viewport breaks. I'm just saying! On your martial fighter, will provide a safe and precise way to target your enemies. Are you serious? How in the f do we have time to install a new weapon system? Oh god, Pixelberry, you did not think this out right, did you? Hold on, hold on, just, just, hold on, Zeke, I need to install this new weapon system. Risk it without them. Hold on, Zeke, I'll get you out of there. Taking aim, you shoot the arm of the claw, trying to tear through it with your lasers. Ugh! It's tightening its grip! You watch helplessly as the claw breaks through the viewport of Zeke's martial fighter. And a large piece of glass stabs through his left leg. Ah! The claw breaks apart under your fire, but the puncture in Zeke's viewport leaves him exposed to space. Okay. He would not have time to say, please help me. He'd be dead. I'm just saying... Eos, please help me. I'm... 
Remaining enemy ships charge towards Zeki, but you quickly blast them out of the sky. Let's get out of here. The soft moan comes to the comms in response. Uh, stay awake, Zeki. I'll try my best. Don't worry. You'll be fine once we reach the medbay. Zeki's eyelids flutter. You drag a ship back to the hangar bay, your attention drawn to the blood soaking his ha thigh. How? One, how are you seeing it? Two, he should be exposed to the vacuum of space! Oh my god. Don't say Forceville, too, because they literally said leaving him exposed to space. Pixelberry done confirmed that they have no fucking shield right now. Oh my god. Now playing as Nova, you and your crew are gathered in the lounge. Suddenly another group of assassins appears and surrounds you. Surrender the ship or face annihilation. Don't do it, Nova! You can fight them! You see Corvus cradling Argo in his arms, carrying him out of the room, away from further harm. We'll never give up. Nobody hurts my crew. We also don't negotiate with damn terrorists! Nearby, Meridian and Kepler are barely keeping attackers at bay with their fists. Sol is searching for a path out of the fray as I suddenly widen. Get to the lore, look out! A towering figure approaches, masked and robed like the rest, but wielding a pair of electronic batons. Time to finish this. I agree. It's time I escorted you off my ship. Careful, Cap. He's fully encased in a power suit. Eh, kick him off balance. As the invader moves closer with lumbering steps, you dart to the side and put all your weight into kicking his head. Ugh. He struggles to keep balance, but ends up teetering towards a group of couches where Holmes is hiding. He's coming down hard! Holmes runs out just in time to avoid being crushed beneath the metal-clad figure. See how you handle this! The invader grabs his crackling weapons and drives them into a nearby control panel. The room abruptly goes dark. Oh! Oh, you thought darkness would be your ally. Bitch, I was born and raised in darkness. Everyone stay on your ground. As the glowing eyes of masked figures draw closer, you hear Kepler calling out to you. I'm coming, Cap. Nova, I can sense them circling us. Sol and Titani are surrounded, too. Your vision begins to adjust. You see your first officer and pilot backed onto one of the corners, your security officer and medic trapped in another. A short distance away, the Voltric batons are still jammed in the control panel, blazing with bright red energy. I've got to give them a fighting chance. Grab the batons, toss them the soul and tighten it, and then the capital are meridian. Concentrate on defense. Was there no third option for toss them to both? No? Okay. You hear movement in the dark. Yeah, you have to forgo one people. One one group of people, excuse me. Several figures close in on you and the others. Come on, let's get this over with. In the distance, you hear a sharp click, followed by the sound of Holmes' voice. Incoming! Oh, you threw a flashbang, didn't you? There's a flash of light as a hur hurled object flies over the fight. Electrical arc stream downward, conducting into suits of the invaders. Oh, I hate you so much right now, Holmes. Oh! At the same moment, odd music fills the lounge. What's happening? It's a prototype of an electron entertainment device I designed. I call it the Plasmatic Party Supercharge. Oh! Uh, Soul said it was too dangerous to install on the dance floor. I did, and it is. I found the power override. The lights slowly brighten, revealing the incapacitated mass figures around you. Holmes switches off his device, and the music fades out. I suppose your handiwork has its uses. I love being helpful. Uh-huh. Now to start cleaning up this mess of a party. I think it's time to lock these scum up where they belong. Sounds good, but let's try to get things back on course as quickly as we can. Brennan bends down over one of the unconscious invaders. I'll, uh, take a look at, at this, Noah. 
They all have the same mark on their robes. Now, yeah, examine the invader's mark. What does it mean? Who are they from? Who, what, when, where, and why? It's... I've never seen anything like that. Whatever it is, I have a feeling it's a lot bigger than what happened here. What an astute observation. Maybe it's the Borg. Now playing as bad packs, the cloak of the hooded figure falls from your hand as you stare at Zania. You're an assassin? Pax, I've never killed anyone. I'm not like the others. Uh, but... How could you do this? You've been lying to me this whole time. I wanted to tell you everything, but I was afraid, and I didn't want you to hurt like me. Tears trickled down her face, causing her stars to shimmer. I had to kidnap the senator and get her to sign the documents. They told me if I didn't, they'd kill her and everyone on board. But they're attacking us right now! It's all my fault. I, I took too long to make a move and only to screw up. They're punishing me for not giving them what they wanted sooner. I tried. I, I really did. But they don't care about that. Now I failed everyone. Who are you talking about, Zinnia? Who made you do this? Uh, they took me away from my home world. Uh, told me that the Thal were wrong and that I wasn't a bad omen. Zinnia looks at the viewport, avoiding your eyes. But I did this. I brought destruction upon Atlas. I'm everything the Thal said I was. Silent tears gush down her cheeks as she whispers. Cursed all I touch. Mm. Okay, so think about this. They took her as a child. They taught her to their ways. She thought that she could change from everyone saying she was a curse. I mean, everyone's looked down at her and been like, you're a curse, you're a curse. And so she tried to do something and just get a confession out of the senator before they would do their backup plan to kill everyone. Um... So in a way, yes, she was trying to protect us. I, I don't, I don't, I, she didn't personally really kill anyone or hurt anyone. So, yeah, you were trying to protect us. You thought they'd kill us if, if you didn't do what they asked or said. I can't blame you for being put in that position. Pax, you're the only one who's ever cared about me. I swear I never wanted anything to happen to you or anyone on the Atlas. Your footsteps pounding down the corridor towards you. Someone's coming. Zinnia stares up at you in fear. She winces slightly as she moves her shoulder, a clean laser wound peeking out from under her jacket. Don't tell the crew what I've done. Please, Pax. They'll never forgive me. If anyone finds out, I could be imprisoned or worse. They'll, they'll treat me the way the Thal do. Like a disease. Eos races down the corner, halting as he takes in the cloak on the floor beside Zania. Uh, Pax, I was told you follow one of the assassins down her. I gave an L, but I don't understand what's going on her. It's... Uh, complicated. Zinnia's eyes meet yours. You can tell him, Pax. He's your brother. You nod, then quickly fill Eos in. And now you know everything I do. Nia raises, rises to her feet, her hands trembling. She stares at you pleadingly. Here. With you, Pax. The, the Atlas was finally starting to feel like home. I've never had that. They'll kill me if I go back, and I failed them. Please let me stay. Please let me try to put the pieces I broke back together. Let me guess, Diamond Choice incoming. Oh! I can call it! Just call it! Yep. Just cute. Wow, okay. So Pixelberry, what was the whole point of all this? What was the point of the illusion of choice of I can never forgive you? What was the point of... You are an asshole. Oh. I needed my drink. Because, oh my god. I don't even know what to say to Pixelberry right now. I may have misclicked. Uh, question mark? You'll never know. You turn to your brother. 
No one will ever forgive her if they find out. She's been through enough already. He yeah, slowly takes out a deep breath. Or lets out a deep breath, sorry. If we do this, we'll have to hide it from the Vanguard. So you won't say anything? I know what she means to you, Pax. I'll do this for you, not for her. He has glances at Zinni, awarely. But I'll be watching you. Especially if I see you anywhere near Lyra. An amazed smile spreads across Zinnia's face, her constellation sign, as she cautiously takes her hand. I never thought someone would take a risk for me. Thank you. We'll get through this together, Zinnia. As you lean down to pick up the discarded cloak, something falls out and clatters to the ground. You pick it up, turning the metal object over in your hand. It's made of linked circles with jagged points. What is this? Delicious knuckles. I don't like to carry a blaster. Slide your fingers through the cool metal circles. The triangle points seem to rise up out of your hand. This is heavier than I thought. As you start to stand up out of the, your crouch, you see a dark figure emerge from the other end of the corridor. You watch as she runs towards Eos with a scythe raised. Eos, look out! He just turns around with his gun raised, but the scythe knocks it out of his hand. Ugh! Zinnia runs towards the fight, but the attacker jumps into the air, kicking her legs out and hitting Zinnia and Eos simultaneously. Yaw! Ah! As Zinnia rolls away, the dark figure strikes Eos again, knocking him back against the viewport. Ugh! Get your hands off my brother! You rush towards the assailant. Knee. Her, apparently. You slam your knee into her back and she falls forward, smashing into the glass. Ah! He just reaches for a scythe, but she's too fast. She swings at his chest. Whoa! He manages to jump back in time as she moves to swing again. You leap in front of her and slam your fist into her neck. Ah! The points of the Delios knuckles on your hand rip into the dark figure tearing chunks of flesh away and causing a well of blood to rush forward. <sighs> the body crumbles to the ground, crimson blood spilling out on her black cloak. Congratulations, you just killed someone. You're the first out of this whole entire group. Eo staggers back, staring at her torn throat in shock. Uh, Pax, did, you, you didn't have to do that for me. We would have found another way. You let the dripping red Delius knuckles slip off your hand to the floor. Your voice is little more than a whisper. No, I didn't have a choice. It was the only way. Or was it? And here she is, Davis. Jora, minor damage. High morale, cheerful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's that fat. Fa I, I, I fat collect. Uh, as they call fat fingering in, in, in MMOs and shit. I fat clicked. I was rubbing my eye and I meant to click and it moved up. Shut up. Anyway, without further ado, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head in the description below. Links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. And uh, stay tuned for the stream later today for choices. And uh, without further ado, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.